What's good? What's good? Welcome back to Invest in Trade with Jax. Happy Monday. I was talking to my friend this morning. She's also an entrepreneur. She designs clothes. She's like, Jax, I don't want to work today. I just want to stay in bed. I'm not feeling it. I have no motivation. And I'm like, look, her last name is Gold. So I always call her Miss Gold. I said, look, Miss Gold, if you don't want to work for somebody, if you don't want somebody telling you when to go on vacation, when to take a shit, when to eat lunch, <laughs> You have to push yourself every day. There's a lot of days that I don't feel like making videos, but I still got to make them, you know, because that's what it takes to kind of like build a life for yourself, to be an entrepreneur and to, you know, fulfill your dreams and aspirations. Um, but it's just one path, you know, a lot of people, they love to work for somebody. They love having a place to go. Uh, they love that structure. So to each their own. Anyways, guys, <laughs> hope you're well. A little bit of a story time. We're going to go over Polygon. Currently, we're seeing 235. We're just consolidating. But it is very, very tradable. I know it's kind of boring, but it's perfectly healthy. And what we want to see happen. So we're sitting in a market cap of 16.96 billion. 24 hour volume, 1.39 billion. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're new to crypto.com, you can sign up to the world's fastest growing crypto app and you can grab one of their incredible Visa cards. <laughs> Come on, Jax. <laughs> uh, where you can have free Spotify, Netflix, Prime travel incentives, depending on the level of card that you have. $25 just for signing up through my referral. So let's hop into Matic. So we're here on the one hour time frame. So what you can do is just trade the range. I'll drop in a line. So it's called trading the range. So we had our first entry right here at 228, right? And you can see, I didn't take any of my profits up here, but I did close 50% of my trade right here. And the reason I did that, it was because we reached the top section on the one hour RSI, as well as the money flow. This is a time frame that I look at the most often when I'm looking to take profits in the short term is the one hour. So you can see from here to here, that's a nice 7% trade. I mean, that's nothing to laugh about. So I close 50%. I let it come back down. I re-enter with that 50%. If it pushes up to that resistance again, I close 50%. Because sometimes what you'll see during a phase of consolidation is you'll just trade within a range. And you can make many, many trades within that range while still living your life, while going to your job, while spending time with the ones that you love or your friends. Well, <laughs> hopefully you love your friends too. Um, but look at all these trades, right? Even if you took these smaller profits, yeah, these are about four or 5% trades. You can just watch the RSI as well as the money flow. So you can see on the one hour, the money flow is coming back down to the bottom section. And that's usually where you're gonna see a push back up. So you don't even have to wait for it to come all the way back to 228 if you feel like, okay, we may see a push up. You can re-enter with that 50%. As long as you have your DCA buy zones underneath the price, you have absolutely nothing to worry about as a spot trader. Of course, leverage, trade at your own risk. Um, but two to three X leverage is pretty safe as well, in my opinion. So let's look at the four hour time frame. So we're just holding the EMAs. I talked about us consolidating. We do have a double top, but I do think it's likely we just continue to trade sideways for the next few weeks. It will be a little bit boring, but as I've been saying, you can trade the range. If we do come down to this next buy zone, well, you get more money into your trade. So it's perfectly normal and perfectly healthy. This is exactly what we wanna see with Bitcoin and Ethereum, and we'll get into that in a bit. Uh, we have our daily here. We pushed up to the resistance of this small ascending triangle here. So we may be looking to so we may be looking to come back down. Let me open this up just so everything's more visible. We may be looking to come back down to this trend line of support. See a nice little bounce. Let me grab my brush. We come up, we hear resistance, we find support, resistance, support. But honestly, I think the likely scenario is we just do something like this for the next few weeks while Bitcoin consolidates or slowly come down to our next buy zones and then see our bounce back to the upside. So let's look at ETH, guys. We're here on the daily for Ethereum. So you can see how beautifully we're mirroring our previous correction. We came down, we bounced, we hit resistance, consolidation, double, triple bottom, breakout. We came down, we bounced, we hit resistance, we're coming back down, double bottom, triple bottom, breakout. So we just have to be patient over the next couple weeks. Still lots of trades to be made uh, during this phase of consolidation we've been crushing it on phantom that's why i always stress to diversify and not have all your money in one trade because as the market has been standing still phantom has been pumping and we've been making some incredibly juicy gains off trading FTM. So here's Bitcoin on the one hour time frame. So you can see we're just consolidating. We do have a little bit of a bullish divergence, lower lows, higher lows on the money flow. Um, so if we do push up, 
I think it's likely that we just hit resistance here and we see continuation because in my opinion, what we're doing is we're slowly coming all the way back down for our retest. I'm gonna pop this open on the daily, just as we did over the summertime. Uh, let me open this up. Hope you're well, guys. Hope the pets are healthy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so you can see our Wyckoff accumulation, 30 days spring, 28 days retest. And it looks like we're going through that once again. Now this is on a smaller scale, so it may not take as long honestly to see our retest and break back out but we did basically mirror the first 35 days of the Wyckoff accumulation perfectly wick down 35 days retest spring you can see we wick down 35 days retest and we've seen our spring we're getting rejected by the 20 EMA so over the next couple weeks as I've been mentioning I think we're going to slowly consolidate slowly come back down for a retest and then break back out to the upside if we start to lose this low guys if we start to lose 40k Okay, I think it would be more likely that we're coming down to 28K once again, but as of right now, we're beautifully adhering to this Wyckoff accumulation. And you can see, guys, as I've been mentioning, the RSI is in the floor, the money flow is in the floor, and it's staying at a low level as we consolidate, just as it did over the summertime. So let's look at the Bitcoin longs. So here's the four hour chart on the Bitcoin longs. Quick drink of water, guys. I get a little bit pasty when I make videos and no, it's not from the ganja as everybody thinks so on this channel. <laughs> I don't actually blaze <laughs> at least like once a day. Someone asked me that I'm like, nope, <laughs> but it's okay. I've been getting it my whole life. So <laughs> here's the Bitcoin longs on the four hour time frame. Nice little increase in the long positions, which is a good sign. Uh, we are seeing a little bit of increase in the shorts as well. So <laughs> a lot of indecisiveness which is a sign of consolidation, which is exactly what we're going through. So be patient, guys. Um, in my opinion, beautiful time to dollar cost average. These are the optimal entry points, just as they were here. And in the bearish case of 28K, we have buy limits all the way down for our altcoins. So we're always prepared for the drop. But in the meantime, guys, you can trade the range. You could see many, many, I think it was about a seven, eight percent. Yeah, seven percent. Many, many seven percent trades in this range. We currently already had one nice seven percent trade opportunity. So we may come down, hit that level of support once again, back, bounce back up to that level of resistance. If we do trend higher, guys, 252 is our next take profit zone, 276 and then two, uh, 290, I'm gonna close the money flow, our buy zones, 228, 215, 192, 151, 107, I have one at 75 cents. I always like to be safe, guys. No, I don't think it will come down to that level, but better safe than sorry. Equal amounts at each buy zone as a spot trader brings your average price down halfway each time. If you're leverage trading, double your margin. If you want early access to these charts, guys, Sign up to the Discord. It's the price of a coffee, 350 USD per month. Um, you really can't beat it, guys, in my opinion. I like to make it affordable for all walks of life because uh, when I was in my early 20s, I grew up on welfare with my family. In my early 20s, I was broke. And I know what it's like to have your stomach grumbling and choose between a slice of pizza and your bus ride home. So that's why I keep it cheap, guys. So it's available for everybody um who almost got a little bit emotional <laughs> so here's the chart channel guys with um one over 1000 members talking all things crypto posting chart patterns and then you also have access to the dca charts for many uh all coins ftm vet gala um, matic mana um soul and um 350 usd if you want to trade with me sign up to bybit and i'll see you in the next video all right much love take care